Welcome to Jefferson City, the capital of Missouri, and my hometown. For years, Jefferson City used the slogan, You'll Feel the History, in marketing campaigns. And while that may be true on a quick drive through downtown, there's a building that often goes overlooked, even by residents. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour. scary part ends right there. Seriously, this building has so many windows that there is not even a possibility of finding another dark corner in the whole place. At the time this factory was built, electric lighting was extremely expensive, so the solution was simply to cover the entire exterior with windows. A foreman that worked in this building during its last purpose as a steel fabrication plant told me that these dumbwaiters remained in service up until just the last few years. They're currently boarded up and they've been cut down. I really can't figure out very much information about them. That's the working elevator. We'll get back to it in a minute. Here's the other defunct dumbwaiter system. This building has seen its fair share of additions, including this one. Notice how these exterior windows now lead into a room. It appears that this used to be some sort of loading dock. These partitions are left over from a time when the building had multiple tenants using it as warehouse space. There's one tenant left that leases out a good portion of the building, including the basement and several of the upper floors. This may have been the shoe factory's old office space. I'm assuming that this staircase is here because the door you see at the bottom used to be the front entrance to the building. Jeez. I'm surprised it didn't show up on camera, but this door was so covered in spider webs that I literally could not get through it without a broom. Yeah, that room is empty anyway. Not worth getting coated in spider webs for nothing. 
we're still on the second floor, which I'm guessing was always the main floor for the building since that's where all the offices were. With some pretty heavy restoration work, this actually could be a very pretty space. Notice the ornate ceiling, the hardwood floors, and those beautiful windows that line every single wall. It's really an incredible building. Now we're back in the space where I began the tour, next to the main elevator. We'll take a look at the staircase next. Well, too late for that. It's supposed to be from the 1970s. As we enter the ground floor, notice that we have our two friends, the dumbwaiters, again, on either side. These must have been added into the building at a later date. Not sure where the controls for these old dumbwaiters are. I might have taken them all out. I don't know what coke cost back when they were still using this. Oh, well that's, that's nice. Fifty cents, maybe? What's that? Whew, I think something died in there. It's a long, creepy hallway. There's another way around. Hmm. This is the other dumbwaiter. I guess that's probably the power shut off, but how would you use this? Oh, they just built that into an office. I don't understand how these work. How it worked. I'll spin the ramp to get into it. There's a work there's the elevator that still works. Huh. Oh, you got me. Almost looks like a zoo. Look at that, all these little cages. There must have been some tenants that didn't need any more space than your average storage locker. Nice chair. Notice the same trend with exterior windows that have turned into interior windows. This must be the lower level of the dark edition where I walked in. Okay. I'm assuming that all of this restaurant equipment belongs to the tenant. Let's 
see what we've got in here. Now we're heading into one of the more interesting additions on the building, seen here on the outside. Ooh, wow. Nice door. Huh, I got a flashlight. Hmm. Look at that floor. Man. I'm sure it's steady. The whole thing's shifted. What kind of crazy ramp is this? I think it must be 45 degrees. I'm not going to be able to step on that without slipping right down. A high ceiling in there. But it's just an empty room, so nothing too interesting missed. I was afraid if I take one step on this, because this is like slick, dusty old rubber. I mean, it's just... No way to do that without killing myself. Well, this is enough messing around in the dark basement for me. Let's try out the elevator. After all, this is the elevator show, right? Of course, it's helpful if you can actually get in. Okay. What do you say we do to Limbo? That's one step. Now let's see if I can actually close this thing. Oh. This whole thing is like off the track. Huh. I feel like I just sealed myself in a coffin. See what we got here. So that's a door latch. See, it just closes like a garage door. It doesn't even go into anything. I bet I could still open it. This one does have a door safety. See what happens when this counterweight goes up. It hits that switch up there, and that's how it knows the door is closed. And you may notice looking up that all of these doors have these retrofitted switches. What you may also notice is that there doesn't appear to be any way that these upper doors are held closed, which means, I bet, if I went up there and tried to open any of these, they'd open right up. It's grandfathered in, but this thing could never be built today. Okay, well, let's see if this thing's actually running. That'd be a good first step. Oh, it is! You can see you got your controls down here. Don't worry, I'll do a silent take later. And the doors go by. This one sometimes will hit on the frame. Made it today. And as we get toward the top, notice there's even windows in the back of the shaft. As we get toward the top, I'm gonna have to level this by hand. And if I mess up, then I have to go up and reset it. So let's see how well I do. Ding! Oh, I overshot it. That's not good. I might have to reset the elevator now. But, surprisingly, it ran right away. Usually I have to do something to get it to run. See out the window there? Freight elevator. Ooh, 1,600 pounds and a freighter. You can tell this is old. You know, we got the mop. We're halfway there, but I don't think anybody's cleaned this in a good while. I wonder how this light works. I guess it's attached to this. I was afraid to press it. It's all exposed. Yeah, so this light doesn't work. It looks like the, the end of the bulb is black, so I bet that's the only reason that that light isn't working. Just a burnt out bulb. Well, let's get out and take a look at this fifth floor. Provided I can get the door. Look at this. See, it's sway. 
This thing isn't exactly oh, it's steady anymore. Jeez. Oh, 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 I am mildly curious if I were to hit this button now. Up. Oh. Looks like these door safeties do still work. See, there's nothing pressing that little switch in right there. So the elevator is not going to move. Oh, wow, it's hot up here. Wow. There's been talks throughout history of turning this into some kind of apartment or retirement home of some sort. Because it's already basically set up, you have windows on all sides. The reason that they did this back in the day was because uh, at the time electricity was very expensive, so rather than putting in those expensive electric lights, they substituted it for natural light. Ooh, I wonder if I can get in this cage. Looks like it's padlocked, unfortunately. I do have a key with me, though, which might work on it. Let's see, shall we? Ah, close, but no cigar. But you can see back there, there's some bathrooms. I was curious to see what kind of shape they were in, since I don't think the upper floors of this building have been actively used in at least 40 or 50 years. The ground floor was used up until about 10 years ago. See, look at that in there. Looks like the bathroom is just in shambles. Look at that sink. Shame I can't get back there, but I can try on the other floors. They might not have partitioned them all off. You can see this whole other building attached in the back. That's where they used to do steel work. All the way up until 2006. I noticed this real neat machine along the wall over here, too. I don't know what this is or what it was. all the way down here. Looks like they had some pipes burst, too. And they raised up the platform in the middle of the floor. I don't know what was there, either. Look at this. A motor here that would turn this thing, but I can't even begin to imagine what it was. It's at the site of the old prison. You can still see there's some of it standing. Other parts have been more recently uh, redeveloped. This wasn't ever prison labor in here, though. This was never part of the prison. From what I understand, this was actually built to compete with prison labor back in the day, kind of as an alternative. And as it just so happened, I guess the town was small enough back then, they put it right next to the prison. Let's go down a floor. Oh, this might not be tremendously safe. I heard there's some leaking going on, and I would say that what we have is a leak coming through here. It's been hitting the floor here, so I don't know how structurally sound. Ah, feels all right. Okay. You can see up there, that's a roof access. We'll get to that later. So down these stairs. Watch out. <laughs> I think it's about the least of your problems walking around this building nowadays. Oh geez, this leak must have really gone through this place. It must have come all the way down. Are they collecting it? Oh, that same area is fenced off on this floor too. Oh wow, that dumb waiter made it all the way up here? Let's go in here. I never realized how high up these two things went, so it looks like this must have been the top floor. Still can't for the life of me figure out how these things were supposed to work, so got a stop button. That's something. But it doesn't really make sense. What's this over here? 
That's a stop too, but it's been torn apart. They had to decommission these a few years back. Wish I could have seen them before they did. And there's no way into this cage either. I'd say this is probably the tenant stuff again, so I don't really want to mess with any of it anyway. Oh, well. We can go down to the last floor we haven't seen and take a look at it. Ooh, that did not feel good. I didn't realize a tenant stored this much stuff in this building. Oh, hey, it's not fenced off on this one. Oh. <sighs> Spider webs. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, looks like in this one, everything that was in here has been ripped out. You can see. I would imagine back in the day, you would have only had men working here. Look, they fenced it off on that side. See how they fenced the door off? Anyway, I would imagine back in the day, it would have only been men working here, which is why you've just got one bathroom on each floor. The manly men went to work, and the women stayed at home back in 1904 or 5. It's amazing how times change. Oh man. Something doesn't smell so great in here. Man, these spider webs are just horrendous in this place. Well, maybe I was wrong about what I said before. Of course, I could have been retrofitted in later. And of course, this might have even been... Yeah, it looks like... It's hard to say if this was ever divided. Look at that paint. It's been a bit. Let's see what we've got over here. I think we have a toilet in the last one, if I can stop getting spider webs in the face. Oh, here's all your toilets. Must have gotten unsanitary. Looks like they still are. Pretty neat. Huh. What all this is? That's a big tarp there. I think the water damage might be a pretty big issue here. So do a roof, or at least some repairs to the roof going on fairly soon. But I'm not sure when that's going to start. So, okay. Another hole. I won't be able to see much of anything though. So these went up four floors. Huh. There's the elevator on this floor. Hmm. You can see. It looks like uh, I never understood why there's this huge door that can slide in front of it. That's a pretty heavy door. It almost looks like this one used to have an archway. Might be more evidence to suggest that the elevator was added on at a later time. Is that an old call button? Didn't think this had it. What does this do? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't know if you see it without the flashlight. But, uh, that might have been a way to ring the operator back when this place was in action. I don't know what that is, either. That's definitely newer. There's one over there, too. It might be part of the security system in this place. Detect motion if somebody breaks in while it's armed. Look at this old radiator. I was told before I came over here that it isn't safe to go up on the roof this time because of all the damage from that storm. 
This is where the roof access is. You can see you got this little gate here. How does this work? Oh, that's your gate. I don't know what that is. And you go up this little narrow gangplank and up there. And when you get on that little balcony at the top, you go up that ladder and through a hatch. Now, I can't go up there this time, but I did go up there last time. I have some good footage of that. And I don't have anybody here with me to run the elevator and show the machine in action anyway, so it really wouldn't be worth the trouble to get up there. Okay, we're up on the roof of the building now. You can see, it's quite a ways down. A bunch of older houses here. Here's the machine room. Some GAL equipment in here too, that's interesting. This is incredible. Get a better look at the elevator. Wall L door. I can't read that. Maybe it'll be more a little easier to read on the camera. I see St. Louis. It's been on there for a long time. There's a bird feather. You see you have a, uh, a little ladder to get up to the machine room, too. I hear an electric buzzing coming from the top. I'll tell you what, why don't we take this thing for another spin? First of all, we need to close the door. You can see it's like a two-speed door. See how this chain system works? Gary rigged as it is at the bottom. There's your counterweights on the sides. It's really neat. You have like half a roof. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll go down and try to point out the windows in the back. It's got something on my finger. And then when I come up, I'll try some more interesting views. Let's look out. Level it down here. It's not a bad job. Now let's try something a little different.
I'm not the world's best guy at leveling this thing. It takes a little practice. interesting how those beams go across up there. I guess on this side, they covered up the counterweight access so nobody could, you know, have their arm ripped off or anything by the passing counterweight. Over here, there's actually a whole board missing. But we'll go ahead and head back down and park this thing on two. And while we're going down this time, we'll take a look at the counterweight. First of all, we'll watch this big gear. The gear traction, too. It's kind of interesting. See, the cables are fixed on this side. The machine pulls from that side, so it only does half the work. Should be hitting the counterweight right about now. I missed it by a smidge. That's a little better. This is just something else. We're back on the third floor, and we're going to check out my claim I made earlier, that in theory, you should be able to pull open any door, even when the elevator's not here. Of course, it would also help if the door you picked had a handle. Oh, give me a break. No, nope, there must be some kind of interlock I didn't see. I wonder where. Let me try one more floor. <laughs> Well, there's your door opening system. Whatever works, I guess. Oh man, notice this one's crooked and off the track too. Oh, maybe I can get a better look at this now. Wall L door, underwriters, laboratories, inspected, fire door for opening and vertical Shaft. Manufactured by St. Louis Fire Door Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Well, let's see. Oh, guess what? This is extremely dangerous right here. But I was right. You can open these doors even when the elevator is not here. I thought so. Let's close this without falling down the shaft. That's a little spooky. Thanks for coming along with me on this historic adventure in Jefferson City. I really hope you enjoyed it. And remember, for more historic buildings and elevators, be sure to check out other videos on my channel.